So what are the things that go through a seller's mind in the process? I mean, uh, obvious one is to get the best possible deal. So you have a price in your head that you want to sell for and you want to make sure that you're going to get that and nobody's going to negotiate you down and there's nothing going to be found that is not going to allow you to get that thing that you want. Um, another one is the, the feeling of I'm, I'm selling my baby. This is the, the company that I have built and I have worked on for so many years and it, this is really important to me this is a thing and so you're getting protective and you're getting you know worried because it is really like your baby another thing is the am i getting am i getting ready to sell for real am i really ready to sell i mean do i really want to do this uh, and sometimes you may feel that you are and sometimes you may feel that you're not and a final struggle uh, that goes through sellers' minds a lot of the time that I've observed is, should I stay or should I go? Uh, because if you stay, uh, obviously you will help the new owner manage the risk, but you may feel uncomfortable staying uh, and being managed by somebody else. Somebody else is going to be your boss and they may want to do things that you don't agree with. However, if you go uh, and if you really decide to go, you really need to understand what are your reasons for going and also understanding that if you go uh, the earn out structure you know that you're going to put under you know when the deal is closed is going to determine that in order for you to go certain objectives will have had to be met or else you're not going to get the rest of the money.